So something I, I can't believe I haven't said anything about this in such a long time. Uh, so I talked about getting the two phones. Like, I want to say that was my first tip. Uh, but part of being the two phones is also for the fact of having two GPSs. And why I say that is because sometimes orders will take you so far out, uh, you'll use your door dashing phone to tell you how to get there. But then once you're out there, and I, I've been experiencing this relatively more lately, that sometimes you'll be 35 miles out of the zone and uh, <laughs> sometimes you need a little bit of direction to get back in there and again you could do it on your door dashing phone but sometimes if you're not within the dasher app you'll miss out on some of those prompts so I generally try and lean towards having what I generally do is I leave my spare phone up automatically navigating to a place that's generally about central located in the zone that I normally dash in and I just leave it like that this way when I'm done dashing I can already look over and go hey I I already know where I need to go from where I dropped off I don't have to spend a few minutes to try and do that it's already calculated it out um, and also a slight update if you can so two updates for this. Uh, if you can get offline maps, that's very important as well. I don't remember. I feel like Apple Maps does that as well. I definitely know Google Maps do. Um, if you guys would like me to post on how to do that, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay charged. Stay safe.